Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a good 4th of July. So in this video today I'm going to be teaching you how to build this number to text converter using JavaScript and also I got some of it from GitHub as well so make sure to check out this link down in the description below. So basically I went to GitHub and clicked on this and then after that you will want to click on raw and then just copy all this and just paste into a JS file and it should work. So basically what this project is doing is that it's converting whatever number we type into the input into text. So let's say I try typing in 100 and then I hit convert it's going to pull up an alert box and the numeric form is 100. The text form is 100 as well but in letters in alphabetical form. If I tried 5 it should be F-I-V-E yes and you can even do a really large number. We can do 100 billion, as you can see. Not 100 billion, 100 million, my bad. And we can also do some random number just like this, and it will convert it however we typed it in. So, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. I'll just generate my boilerplate code, and we'll just create a div, give it an ID of container, and inside of this container, I'll create an H1 and I'll just say number to text converter. This is optional. I'm just using this for, for the thumbnail, so you don't really have to create that H1 if you don't want to. And I can create an input, give it a type of number. ID will also be number. This input will allow our user to type in whatever number they want and now now we can do button give it an idea of button we'll just say convert now we can go create a script tag and embed this number to word.js file into our html by doing script source equals number to word.js and that is all we need now we can go into another script tag and bring in our button by creating a variable and then giving it an event listener for click so whenever we click on it it will run this arrow function I prefer to use the arrow function versus the traditional function because it's less code because you don't have to type the function keyword so we can create another variable called input so we're gonna grab whatever content the user typed into the input so we're gonna do var input equals this right here and make sure it ends in dot value so it will grab the value of the input and all we want to do is just do alert numeric colon and notice how I use template literal strings which will allow us to use variables within this set of quotes by typing the syntax right here money sign then a pair of curly braces and then the name of the variable or the parameter in this case it's just a variable so we'll pass an in input and then we'll type these two pipe symbols and we can do text colon and use that syntax again and we'll do number two words dot two words that's how you access this file right here by using number two words dot two words and it's going to be a function and what we have to pass in here is our input so now let's see if it works I'm gonna try typing in 200 and as you notice everything's working so that's awesome now we can go create our style tags and start styling this up to make it look a little neater so we'll just give our body a background color of hashtag 2074 FC which is going to be this light blue color and we can get this link right here the fonts the Google fonts link go to our container do display flex justify content align item center puts everything in the center and then flex direction column which will stack all the elements on top of each other in a vertical stack and we'll just do column just like that position absolute now let's take a look at what we have so far awesome now let's go back and give it some more styles. There's other ways of positioning the container in the center, but I don't know it, so that's why I use these seven or eight lines to position them. It's pretty time consuming most of the time, but, but I highly recommend that you go research up a different way of 
positioning it in the center so you don't have to type as much it's going to be more efficient and save you a lot of time and we'll just do width 700 pixels height 550 pixels border radius will be 10 pixels so now the corners are going to be rounded off by 10 pixels and we can do cursor pointer after that we're going to style our input and we'll just do transform scale 3 so we're going to scale its current size by three times and then we can do background RGB 248, 247, 247, outline none, border 0 0.1, pixel solid, light slate gray, cursor pointer. Now let's go back. It looks ugly with this outline so we have to make sure it doesn't have that. That's because I misspelled solid, that's why. There we go. And now we can style our button. Give it a background color of red or whatever color you choose for it. Border none, which just cleans up the button a little bit. In my opinion, having borders on buttons just look kind of ugly. But you can keep it if you want to, like I said. You can change the CSS styles to the way you want it to be. You don't have to go with mine. The whole point of this video is so I can teach you how this GitHub thing works. But anyways, we can do transition 0.3s position absolute top 80% font size 8 1.8 rem width 340 pixels height 80.33 pixels and we can do font weight 600 which will make it a little more bold if we were to get rid of this or just comment it out like that you'll notice it's a lot more thinner than it was and let's just bring it back and if you want to you can even give your button a hover effect by changing its background color on hover to this color right here 71 71 71 which is going to be this gray color and now we can style our h1 do position absolute top 1% font family poppins sans serif and we can do font size 3.2 rem text align center color red and I believe that is all we need for this project we are done so let's test it out one last time let's try 598 blah 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 and as you can see everything's working let's try again with a different number 34 everything's working perfect I guess this is it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you learned something new from this video and found it valuable, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Other than that, thanks for watching. Comment down below what you want to see next. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.